action! Everybody, podcast number two, Mr. Grigorelli, Mr. Rocha. Gentlemen, great to have you here. Let's get right into it. First question, we all know you guys from in the school. Tell us a little bit about yourselves outside of school. Take it, Bob. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, father of two daughters, hang out in North Stallington, cutting down trees, track to work, fun stuff like that. Awesome. Yeah. I can vouch he has got a lot of chopped wood. <laughs> I like to hoard it. Nice. A little bit about me. Um, tested off the charts in every IQ test possible. <laughs> um, I know we were going like that. All right. Uh, I have four kids, technically. Um, what else about me? Um, I like Halloween. Oh yes. That's, but that's something. That's something we know about. You. Uh, oh, we something don't. we don't know. Uh, mm. Well, mm. you know. Um, um, uh, skater from back in the day. Former skater boy. Oh. Then I picked up the dumbbells. Got, got after. It. Got you. Got too bulky. Yeah. Don't she Balance. <laughs> all off. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um. All right. So, what was your path into teaching, and then why Stonington? Me you first. Can, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You this, right. Taking care. Kind of an interesting thing, I think. I went here, and I took all the video classes. I was a video nerd. Um, shout out Rabadoo. Yeah. And so I did, then I went and did video production as a job for a while. And the whole time I was doing it, I was kind of like, it'd be cool to teach video later on when I'm an old man, when I can't do anything. <laughs> and then I just, uh, I decided, I was like, I should probably start doing that and not jump into it as an old man. So I got sucked into uh, teaching, you know, right now. And I wasn't like, I was just thinking I'd do video for longer, but then I went back to school, got my teaching. And uh, as soon as I graduated, I slipped right into this job and it was all perfect. Everything always works out great for me. So <laughs> I have a lot of luck. Minus luck over here, nice. <laughs> So for me, I don't know, I was plumbing for a while and I was thinking about going into the trade. When I was here, I was doing like every shop class there was. Shout out to Mr. L and Robidoux. I was doing video production with him. We got away with way more than you could ever get away with now, which is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. So going through school, I was here obviously, and I get to a point where I don't know what I want to do. You know, okay, school's gonna be done. Where are you going, what college, whatever. So I had a teacher here, Mrs. Gibney, old PE teacher, she's like, oh, you might want to go into PE. I'm like, all right, sounds good to me. So that's where I went. Couldn't get into PE for a while, so I had to dance around a bunch of different school districts, but I was finally able to come back here later on, which was nice. Nice. Go Bears. Yeah, that's right. go Bears. Bears. Okay, so, you know, you're both wood tech teachers. What's your favorite type of wood to work with? Wood. Wood. Woody wood. That's right. Um, well, honestly, we use a lot of pine because it's cheap mm -hmm. and it's easy to work with, with students. So, you know, I'm a pine guy, but um, cedar smells so good. Uh, it's it's that good. smell when you cut it, mm -hmm. breathe in that sawdust. You're going to Home Depot and sniffing the cedar. I just walk <laughs> down the aisles and sniff. You get the aroma. I love it. It's too good. I'm an oak man myself. Oak! Austrian oak. Mm. Shout out to Arnold. Oak's nice. It can be temperamental, but good finished product. Like, love, yeah. it. love it. So, kind of going off of your favorite wood to work with, what's your favorite machine or tool? Mm. In the shop? Mm. 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 Favorite machine? I think if I'm going to keep it real, is the scroll saw. Because it's a good intro saw. You can get intricate with it. You can do cut out cool shapes, and um, I do like teaching that best. And then uh, I'm really comfortable with the chop saw because I did some construction when mm -hmm. I was a when I was a younger man. So I'd say scroll saw working with in the shop, but at, if I was on the site, the chop saw. So me working with myself, circular saw because you can do so much stuff with it. It's just so. Intricate, what you can get going. Not as intricate as the scrolls. 
on that. You could build a whole house with a circular saw. Uh, to teach, definitely not that one, because it'd be sketchy. And usually kids go right through the cord. You're like, watch the cord, and there you go, you're dead saw. So, teaching wise, I might have to say scroll saw as well. I'm scared of a uh, skill saw. I don't like it. It's scary. It almost bit me a few times. So, <laughs> yeah. gotta respect it. Yeah. Cameraman just sent a text and it came through. Oh, uh -oh. The producer. Is he gonna sit in on this? That producer, or no. He's just talking behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, moving on. Are you two video game guys? Uh, back in the day, from 30 years ago. Okay, like Legend of Battle Zelda, War. stuff like that. Sega. All time. What's your favorite? Game? Arcade or like on the TV? Ninja anything. anything. Oh. It can be TV, it can be arcade, it can be whatever you want, but all time mm. favorite game. Mm. I'm just gonna shout out a couple that come to mind. Streets of Rage. That's a good one. Good beat em up. These are old games on Sega. I wasn't a Nintendo guy. Were you a Nintendo? I was both. My brother was such oh, a yeah, video yeah. game nerd. He had everything you can think of. We had Atari all the way to whatever we've got now, which I'm not into. But Golden Axe was on Sega. Golden Axe. That was sick. That was a good one. Good I one. played Halo. No, I beat, I I beat Halo 1 and 2 with my buddy. So that's like probably the most recent game is Halo. I I buy V Bucks for my son. That's all I do <laughs> for video games now. Mm. I all like right. the Simpsons arcade game, the beat 'em up game. That Simpsons one was pretty fun. Legend. It was hard to get to sometimes, but when you found it, it was a good time. Oh, and Rampage was cool. At the old Rampage is ring. classic. Do you know what Rampage is? They made a movie. The you're either a, 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 a ape or a Godzilla type thing, or wasn't there was, it was a, third a wolf thing. too? A wolf, and you yeah. can smash up buildings. You mm -hmm. just did the same thing over. And sounds it's fun. Sweet. It's cool. Sounds fun. And when you take we'll enough put, damage, we'll you put it back right to here. Up here. Yeah, yeah. Screen. Flash a picture. Oh, there we go. Right. It's right here. That's easy. Okay. All right. Sorry. So, I know Mr. Negrelli has a lot of them. So we have to. What do I have a lot of? <laughs> well, okay. So you gotta issues. Pick. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you gotta pick one tattoo and explain the backstory behind it. Oh. Not if, all right. So kids out there in TV land, like, make sure all your doors are open before you start slapping stupidity on you. Right? <laughs> so, some have meaning, some don't, just because they're cool. So it's okay to get a cool tattoo as long as it doesn't shut those job opportunity doors for you. Um, this one was able to. Can I say? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say scumbag line. This is your scumbag line, ladies and gentlemen. You usually don't want to break this one because you can cover up from here up, right? But this is where I test the waters. So this is just like my kids. So like when I became a dad, flower for one girl, flower for the other one. So that one has the most meaning. This one I like because it's really sick, according <laughs> to me, but those are the two I'll choose. Awesome. I chose two, I broke the rules. I don't think you have any. Do I don't have any. I don't you have a growth on your finger. But I have a that. fungus that looks like an S. <laughs> so when you get hurt in the shop and we tell you to come and tell us, if you don't, it turns into that stuff. Yeah. You might be married to fungus. I don't have any tattoos. Um, Just I'm tell thinking, give maybe, us one next, and give us the In the one. summer, next, this coming summer, I might get one. I'm thinking about it. Tell us. Just it's not like I was going to get, get it. Get? No, well, it's, it's, not, a, uh, well, it's not a probably secret. Be Obviously, more. Mr. Roach has them. It's not a secret. Just this is turning into a hit piece. It is. <laughs> Just I paid one. him a little bit before you got here. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm thinking about probably getting my first one. It'll probably be. Oh it would be like a skull and a dagger. Okay. Classic. <laughs> Just because it's cool. Just because it's cool. Nice. Oh. But I wouldn't do any like my face or my neck. I'm going Mike Tyson. People next. nowadays, their yeah. first tattoo is their face. Oh, I no. can't. I can't imagine. There's a tradition. You gotta branch down. You can't start fingers and go. That's the new thing. People yeah, punch people hands just on the hands and shit. Hands, yeah. yeah. It's mm. jumbled up. Mm. Yeah. I feel like you have to be heavily like tattooed to go. It's yeah. all on the hands. Yeah. That's gross. I, when I'm retired, I'm going. I'm going, going all out. I'm going neck and hands, not oh, face yeah. stuff. Well, maybe a teardrop if he makes me too angry. <laughs> nice. All right. So we're gonna move on. We have four never have I ever questions. Oh God. So never, this is a good one. I like this one never have for, I ever. for the teachers. I like this okay. one. Never have you ever been sent to the principal's office when you were a student. 
So oh, I got sent. Yeah. Many times. Yeah. Like a, yeah. All right, give it, give us one like a little one nice instance. Nice little brief. I would be down there with my friend just like, and sit, you know, like when you get sent to the office, you're sitting in the chair waiting to go in. Mm -hmm. And then you're just like laughing about what you got sent down there for and mm -hmm. not regretting anything yet till you get in there. But yeah, I got, I got, I went down there a couple times. I, I was spastic as a child. Yes. So when I, you know, when I have someone in my class now that's annoying, I say, I was like this, you know, I, so I try and give some leeway, some sympathy for kids, you know. For the knuckleheads. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'll also hand out some detentions, too. He's a tough guy. But, yeah, I've been down there. Uh, who was the principal at Park Tuck Middle? Cross. Cross? We used to get sent down just for lunch because they had AC in the office. So we cause a scene in the cafeteria to get. We are back. Technical difficulties. Take two. Well, let's all start. Camera. Let's all come in like laughing like something funny. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's great. Right. Anyway, next. Uh, moving on. Moving Here on. We go. Number two. I feel like this is kind of something you brag about. Stating the piece. So never have you ever met a celebrity. <laughs> Got roasted by a celebrity. Oh, oh yeah. remember that one? <laughs> yeah, we would. Um, we went to comedy shows in Boston. And then uh, Harlan Williams was like headlining. Here's his picture up here. Yeah, here's Harlan Williams from a famous movie. We won't talk about the title right now. Done. We'll talk about it in health class, health <laughs> issues. Um, so I had long hair back then and like a beard and I had a stupid shirt on. So he just talked trash to me, like call me Jesus and everything. And every time he like rip on me, he'd walk away and do some of his bit, but he was always coming back. <laughs> Well, we were cool. in the front row. Yeah, that's we were, true, like, too. We were right in the front row. The table in front of the stage, so he, you knew he was just going to get hit. Yeah. You know, kind so of, they were worked the crowd. Had, were you haggling him? No. Oh, I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I didn't want to give him anything because that guy is ridiculously good. I didn't want to feed the flames. Yeah. So I just took it, and it was funny. So <laughs> it was, it was, it was funny. a good time. It was good. Celebrities, uh, just like a couple weeks ago, I, um, I, like, I like horror movies and stuff. So I went to a horror convention, and you can see, meet a bunch of celebrities. So I, I met a bunch uh, last week. My son likes the movie Scream, so we met David Arquette, who's in Scream. He's Officer Dewey. Here's his picture right here. This editor's got, this editor's got a lot of stuff to do. Um, but yeah, I've met some, uh, I've met a few here and there. I worked on Deal or No Deal, and I met Howie Mandel. Oh yeah, that's cool. He got me in on the audience this one time. time. Yeah, I put, him in the, I put him in the crowd a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like oh, there's some other people I've met, but I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Danny Trejo. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Technically, I didn't meet him, but like he walked right by, by me at a film festival, and I was like, sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We were calling in O'Brien and Jason when he used to come to Whistle Stop. We he would shop at Walmart. Yeah. You know Conan O'Brien? Yeah. Redhead guy? He uh, sh would shop at Walmart all the time in Westerly, and our oh, friend wow. worked there. She would, That's he'd cool. come up and be like, hey, where's the shampoo? And she'd be like, Conan O'Brien, okay, come over here. I'll show you where it is. Oh, and she used to see DMX, yep. too. And we wanted to have him come to a Christmas <laughs> party. And a DMX, that was, yeah, it was going to be a DMX. Then, yeah, she worked at a different Walmart, DMX. and DMX oh, would yeah. come. <laughs> yeah. And... So I said, invite him to my Christmas party. Yeah. We're trying to get him to come. That you didn't get him to come. Well, unfortunately, he passed away, so we can. He started hitting some hard times. RIP. Yeah. DMX, he's right here. We asked this to Faya and Kate. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I watched the episode. <laughs> yeah, but which, which one? So go ahead. Sorry. Have you ever gotten to a physical altercation? Yeah, see, I knew this I was I didn't want that one. I'm pleading the family. I want to go back to the, uh, would you do a, be in a coma for ten or jail for five. I love how you're steering this right now. Because those guys, those guys are you, soft. They went for the coma. You would be in prison. Him. We're going to jail for five. Yeah. You're going to jail for five. Five. For, what hey, harder? I could get out on <laughs> good behavior, such a thing, right? <laughs> Missed ten years is five. Watch so, some YouTube. Get all right. Well, down. what was your question? Have you ever got into a physical altercation? Uh, yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the statues of creation? Um, um, yeah. What's what's the statues of that? 
I don't think Miss Dolig is talking about this. I'll just say physical altercation. Uh, uh, technically, yes, yeah, but yeah. We don't have to explain it. I just want to know. Yes. 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 <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To wrap off, never have I ever. Have you or never ever ever never have you ever? <laughs> never, ever. I can't. I can't keep this one. Straight. I couldn't do it either. So. Never have you ever been in a motorcycle accident. Oh. I know you ride. Do you ride? Rose trying to curse no. us. Go. No. No. We're just wood it up in here. That's part of it, boy. That ain't real. Where's my no. oak? And with that, uh, some people like pull out in front of me and like have to lock up the brakes, like kind of little some little scary, sketchy yeah. things, but never anything like. Bad. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good to hear. Heck with that. Okay. All right. Oh, there we, there go. we go. Knock Wait, on it. Knock on this. I don't, I think we'll put some. We'll done. put an image of some wood right here. Like yeah. some good old cedar. That's like Douglas <laughs> fir old cedar. cedar. <laughs> throw some cedar up. <laughs> All right. You should throw it back then. Keep going. Altercation. All right. This is new. Uh, it's it's a little game. You have $15 to spend to build the perfect meal. Mm. There are four different areas, main dish, dinner guest, venue, and dessert. Each one has a $5 choice, $4 choice, $3 choice, $2, and $1. Okay. But you only have 15 to I'm make all this. Yeah. Okay. No okay. trying math this early, but sure. Yeah. All right. So first, your main dish. For one dollar, you get pop tarts. Two dollars, you get fish and chips. Three dollars, you get lamb chops. Four dollars, you get fettuccine alfredo. And five dollars, you get steak of your choice. I'm going two dollars. I'm gonna see what comes up down the line, but fish and chips ain't bad, so I'll go two bucks of fish and chips. I'm gonna go steak. You going all out main all dish, out. five dollars. He's trying to out protein me. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, dinner guest. We have, for $1, you bring Tom Holland. For $2, you bring Zach Bryan. For $3, you bring Tom Brady. For $4, you bring Elon Musk. And $5, you bring Steve Carroll. Steve Carell. Or Carell, Steve yeah. Carell. How come I can't picture him right now? The Office? Come on, man. All right, and then who was wow. the first guy? Tom Holland for a dollar. Is he, uh... He's Spider-Man. Spider He's Spider-Man, my He's son. He's a funny dude. Son. He's my he's the worst Spider-Man. Wow. We're Toby. I'm Toby. I'm a Toby. Toby. I'm Toby all I'm day. Toby. God, Toby. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Sorry. So, who are you going with? Uh, Corel. All right. We got five. So you got you got five dollars to. <laughs> I ball hey, out. Not, I'm a baller. That's fine. I'm thinking you still Elon or Tom. Like, who's gonna give me better connections? Like Elon, I might get on a space shuttle. Tom, I might be super. Oh, I can't do it that way. Scratch that. Um, Elon, go on Elon. Yeah, four bucks. Man, man can't talk trash. Come on now. <laughs> so yeah, Elon, four bucks. So I'm up to six. I'm gonna have a steak with Steve Carell. And I'm fish and chips with Elon. Elon's gonna make my fish and chips into like dinosaur. You're packs. trying to get him to give you a billion dollars. <laughs> I didn't say the money, man. <laughs> I was talking about space shuttle. Sorry, sorry. Keep going. Oh boy. All right, the venue. For one dollar, you get an alleyway. Two dollars, you get a couch for it. Sorry. Three dollars, you get a treehouse. Four dollars, you get a private dock. And five dollars, you get a castle and island. And <laughs> How much there's another you got? category there's coming. Another cat oh crap! So I'm at six. So I got a. What castle was the? Castle was the five. Castle. Tree four. I'm going. <laughs> what was the tree? Castle? Tree house for three. <laughs> yeah. Private dock. I want to see alleyway just cause it. Yeah, we're doing fish <laughs> with Elon, Elon in an in alleyway. alleyway. This is how we roll, Elon. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you roll. Right. And then I'm, I'm in the tree floor. You're finally, the tree floor. Tree floor for the solid. dessert, for one dollar you get a Hershey's bar. For two dollars you get Oreos. For three dollars you get creme brulee. For four dollars you get an apple pie. And then for five dollars you get a chocolate lava. Oh. How much money do I have? No, you have two dollars. You have two dollars. You can either take a Hershey you start or going or Oreos, Oreos, and it's like the best thing. Yeah, I'm good. With or without milk? Oh, no milk. No, 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 you don't, no, 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 no
So I got all the money in the world right now, right? Yeah, I spent you got, seven bucks. You got, you got two, you got six, and you have seven, so you can yeah. go. So I'm going to do chocolate lava, lava cake, excuse me, just to rub it in his face. <laughs> I'm not, I'm yeah, not get me. you're saying not right now, but once money. you see it, he's lying, yeah. All right, he's change lying. it to a whoopie pie, then we got him. <laughs> so Mr. Negrelli is having fish and chips with Elon Musk in an alleyway Topped off yeah. with chocolate lava. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and Mr. Roach is having steak of choice with Steve. Hold Curry. on, wait, wait. What is the steak? What steak? Oh, yeah, what okay. steak would you? Uh, steak would you I'm a strip, New York strip. And why strip? I don't like tips. a lot of uh, like the ribeye. I don't like the fat. Right. Fat's what gives it the best flavor. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. I like like just beef jerky. <laughs> so you like white wine? Cooked well to done. a crisp, oh. like just burnt. And no, like. No. That's I like jail time. Like, we might right. send you to jail for being <laughs> right. broke. So I got all the money in the world right now, right? Yeah, I spent you got seven bucks. You got, you got two, you got six, and you have seven, so you can yeah. go. So I'm going to do chocolate lava, lava cake, excuse me, just to rub it in his face. Right. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, get me. you're saying not right now, <laughs> but once lying. you see it, he's lying, yeah. All right, change it to a whoopie pie, then we got him. <laughs> so Mr. Negrelli is having fish and chips with Elon Musk in an alleyway Topped off yeah. with chocolate lava. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and Mr. Roach is having steak of choice with Steve. Hold Cohen. on, wait, wait. What is the steak? What steak? Oh, yeah, what okay. steak would you? Uh, steak would you I'm a strip, New York strip. And why strip? I don't like tips. a lot of uh, the ribeye. I don't like the fat. Right. Oh. Fat's what gives it the best flavor. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. No. I like like just beef jerky. <laughs> so you like white wine? Cooked well to done. a crisp, oh. like just burnt. No. Like, no. That's I like jail time. Like we might send you to jail for five years. He's getting he's delicious. Yeah, <laughs> he's getting ready. So he would have a strip with Steve Carell in what you say treehouse mm. with Oreos as a dessert with no milk. No milk. Dry. Right. All right. Fine. Yeah. Fine. It's fine. No milk. I think he gets usually you have a whatever. beverage at a meal. No. I'll get some Okay, then you get no water or juice no, or anything. No, this is smart guy. I'm in an alleyway. There's dumpsters there. <laughs> Yeah. I can find something there. There's puddles of water. I'll smack the string out of the way. Garbage juice. Garbage juice. Yeah, you do what you got to do. <laughs> you know, it's going to have something that's going to make that into like champagne or something like that. Filter. Juice. Yeah, see? Oh, That'd be no. smart with this. Hey, I love it. Thank you guys for coming on. This was awesome. It was a good time. Um, podcast number two in, in the, the books. books. Boom. Have an amazing week. Go Wolves. Peace out. Cut.